Hey friends, I just want to welcome you to the channel today. I have a fun little adventure I'm going on today. I'm actually going to get on a ferry here in the next few minutes and we're going to take a little ride over the Magic Kingdom. Just kidding. I'm not, I'm not in Florida right now. Uh, I'm actually in uh, Fort Fisher, North Carolina. <clears throat> um, we're going to take the ferry over to Southport, which does have great shopping. Unfortunately, it has no Seven Doors Mine train. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to go over there and we're going to take a little trek uh, in the truck. We're going to take a little drive and uh, take probably about a 40 minute drive from Southport to get down to uh, Sunset Beach. And once we get to Sunset Beach, we're going to take probably about another 30 minute stroll down the beach to Bird Island area. And Bird Island is where the Kindred Spirit Box is. And if you've never heard of the Kindred Spirit Box or you, you know, you're not in this area or whatever, uh, the Kindred Spirit Box just is a black mailbox that somebody put on top of the sand dune over 30 years ago and people uh, like to walk, you know, down the beach, which is a beautiful walk. I mean, it's just so, so gorgeous back through there. So, uh, but you walk down to the mailbox, there's like a bench that someone built and uh, you can just write, there's, there, there'll be a notebook in there and you can write like anything that you're thinking. You know, you always like Dear Kinder Spirit Box, you know, it's kind of hokey, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. And um, it's a good way to get stuff off your chest. You just want to write. Like, I don't know how many people are actually writing diaries anymore, but um, it is it is a nice walk and it's a cool little adventure. Me and my wife normally, you know, participate in this adventure every year since we got married, you know, and uh, last year we did not do it just because, you know, the pandemic is kind of a dirty word. I don't even like talking about it, but um, today we're going to do it. We've not been there in a couple of years and we're looking forward to it. And uh, we want to do it before we're, you know, it starts getting too cool here in the Carolinas. So uh, uh, today's a nice day. I think it's going to be about 83 degrees, uh, not a whole lot of humidity, a lot of humidity. So uh, that's it, man. So I got my coffee. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. And I'm ready to take you on a little adventure today see this cool little mailbox down there and hopefully we can see some um, you know some other neat stuff on the way I don't want to spoil it because if I don't find find what I'm looking for I don't want to be like oh I told you something and it didn't happen so uh, but if we find something neat you know I will definitely call it out and let you see it and uh, so uh, let's do it let's go I'm ready I'm ready my coffee's still hot let's go do this well I just pulled on to the ferry now we're all loaded up And uh, we got some seagulls just hanging out, you know, what a, what a cool light. The horn means you're allowed to get out of the vehicle now, so we might get out of the vehicle and stroll around. So we're uh, moving along now. You can actually see uh, Zeke's Island over there. And Ian, I don't know. This area definitely the uh, ferry ride is always uh, a lot of fun. And uh, if you have kids, you know it's really cool because you will see, you know, you just never know what you're going to see. But you can see some wildlife. You can see dolphins out here sometime, and all kinds of little things. A lot of good bird watching going on. So yeah, so we're going to continue on. So I decided to walk back here on the back side of the ferry to kind of give you a view. That's Sunny Point. And that there is Fort Fisher. That's where we, where we just left. So when you're on the ferry, you got a little observation deck. You can come up the steps and uh, kind of get a little bit more of a 
bird's eye view of things. Very beautiful, very nice. I have been, uh, I can remember coming here on uh, family vacations when I was a kid and uh, I always wanted to be on the ferry. I always tell my parents, oh, let's go ride the ferry today, you know, and of course they always would. They'd always take me on the ferry ride over to Southport. We would normally ride over there and go to a local ice cream shop, get some ice cream, maybe walk around town, do a little shopping and then come back over to Carolina Beach, home sweet home. So uh, yeah, good time. This island right here next to us is actually Horseshoe Island. No horses on it that I'm aware of, but I guess at one time it looked kind of like a horseshoe uh, down here on this point. But uh, erosion and hurricanes and things like that, maybe it has changed changed the uh, geography of a little bit. So, but that's what that's called. That's actually Horseshoe Island. moving on and anytime you're riding the ferry and you see the other ferry it's always good to wave so we're gonna wave and we're like hey hey how y'all doing hope you enjoy your ride have a great day be very friendly and smile it's awesome so that's kind of how i do it anyway so i'm ready all right guys we're in southport and uh if you can look up ahead there the southport water tower this is actually the same town where they made a, um, a hit horror movie. Uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer was filmed here. So uh, if any of you have ever seen that movie, this is the actual town where the movie was filmed and uh, everything take place. So I uh, just wanted to share that. So i talk to you in a little bit. So we're headed up over the uh, bridge to go over to Bird Island where Sunset Beach, Beach is located. And it's quite beautiful. As you can see as my wife pans around for me. You can, uh, you can look off to the uh, far east and you can see Myrtle Beach back down that way. It's kind of hazy today, so maybe you can't see quite as good. Yeah. All those salt marshes down there. A lot of good fishing. And off in that direction, that is uh, actually Ocean Isle Beach. Just to give you some bearings and kind of where we're located. Alright guys, we're here at the uh, Sunset Beach. This is the Bird Island Coastal Reserve signage. And if we look, zoom down right here, you can actually see a picture of the Kindred Spirit Box. The Kindred Spirit Box has been an important part of the Bird Island experience for many years. The box provides a quiet retreat destination in the dunes where visitors can pause and ponder the area's tranquility and beauty. Visitors often leave kindred spirit messages about the island's beauty and serenity. And this is kind of aerial shot of where we're going. We see this jetty uh, right down here in this area. Uh, the mailbox is in the dunes somewhere in this spot. So, uh, yeah, we have a lot of walking to do. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, we just got out onto the beach, and uh, I'm here at the piers. I can kind of pan around to show you behind me we got the pier so uh the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to start walking down the beach a piece uh down to the east area and uh as we there's a lot of people out here today it's a very busy day it's beautiful out here today the, it's just nice and warm and uh it's a great time of year coming down here because the main tourism season is already ended you know we're after labor day so now you can come out to the beach and uh, have a little bit more room. You know, a little less people, but it's still quite a few out here today. So as I continue, this is the Sunset Beach Fishing Pier. 
and I apologize for any wind noise. It is a little breezy today, but uh, we really got lucky today because it's low tide. And you can just really see, you know, how much beach you have and how packed down it is. And the easy walk, I mean, we're, we're wearing flip-flops. You see, there goes a bicycler. That is something you will see a lot at Sunset Beach just because of the nature of the sand here is just so packed down. And it's a pretty wide beach, so you have a lot of room. So uh, that is all I got to say about that. All right, friends, I was walking down the beach, and I just wanted to quickly come show you. Wow, that is a big crab ball. But uh, I wanted to show you this. You'll see this quite often this time of year. This here is a, uh, a sea turtle nest. And uh, all this is saying is, you know, there's some eggs that's buried here. And they're just waiting for them to uh, hatch. So when you're going down the beach this time of year in the fall, you will see a lot of places roped off like this. And uh, that's kind of, that's just what this means. So you don't want to disturb it. And uh, probably in another week or two, uh, the hatchlings will probably, you know, they hatch. And, you know, you have a bunch of little baby turtles actually running back this way toward the ocean. So it's quite interesting. Um, I've seen it a couple times. Uh, normally, I'm in bed when they hatch. <laughs> it seems like every year when they hatch over at Carolina Beach where I'm at, uh, it's always at night and I always miss it. So if it was ever in the daytime, that would be cool. But there would be a lot of people come out when they know it's about time for them to hatch. And uh, they actually build a trench from the nest all the way down through here to keep the babies, you know, all single file going in the right direction toward the ocean. So uh, I just seen that and I just wanted to, you know, if you've never seen it before and you ever come down here to the beaches and stuff and you see that, that's what that is. Let's move on. Well, I'm guessing, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm about halfway there right now. And I was just talking to my wife and we was getting a little chuckle out of it. It's like every time you make this walk, it's always like, we're almost there. You know, and I'm always looking at that jetty down there at the end because, you know, that's much further than what we need to, you know, go to make this walk to get to the mailbox. Well, it's like the jetty never gets any closer. It's like it's just the endless walk. And, you know, <laughs> it's just like, man, live. You know, and I'm sitting there looking for this flagpole. There's an American flag at the top of a flagpole on the same sand dune pretty much where the mailbox is located. And you should be able to see it when you start getting close. And unfortunately, I cannot see it still. But it could just be, you know, it's been two years since I've been here, so my eyes is not as good, so. But we're gonna carry on. Let's just give you a little update. All right, friends, I think I'm almost here finally. I was beginning to wonder if we passed it. I didn't see, I guess the American flag pole and everything was gone. Cause uh, we should be able to see it now. And, I'm not seeing it the whole time, so uh, but I do see the mailbox right ahead of me here. So uh, somebody's up there right now. We'll just take our turn and give them a little bit of time and space to write what they want to write in it. And then we will uh, head on up the sand dune and take our turn, and I'll, I'll let you check it out and see what it's all about. And really quick, while we was uh, while we're waiting our turn, I wanted to show you this. This is a... Uh, this is really what I was looking for on the way down here was uh, a whole piece of sand dollar. But unfortunately today, it's like, I guess I got out here too late and uh, all the whole pieces have already been claimed. So uh, that's kind of bummer. I wanted to kind of show that off because this is one of the few places around here uh, that you can find, you know, a whole piece of sand dollar, an intact piece of sand dollar right here. There's something about this southern facing beaches here in North Carolina. There's normally abundance of them, but today it was just like, there was none. It's like somebody come down there and just swept them all back into the ocean. <laughs> so, so that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, I'm not done. Look, I get to walk all the way back. When I walk back, I'm going to take a little bit different route. I was kind of in the middle of the beach on the way down here. So I might walk a little bit closer to the water this time. Uh, it's low tide now, so that's why I always kind of walk in the middle. And normally there's a lot of tide pools where you can find all kind of wildlife. Uh, you can starfish, things like that is really neat. But today, nothing. The beach is just totally flat. No tide pools. It's 
low tide so oh well it is what it is it's nature so uh i just wanted to run that by you so but all in all it's been a fun day it's been a good time so far so uh we're gonna give these people just a little bit more time and uh, we'll take our turn well i decided to come out here and wade around the water the water feels so good it's so warm and I was still, I'm not giving up on the sand dollar thing, you know? Sometimes if you wade right out here, you can find stuff that people, are, you know, they can't even see yet, so. It's really what I was hoping for. But, unfortunately, I'm not having no luck. This water is so warm right now. It's like about 85 degrees. It really feels good today. Good. Get a Looky there. Look what we found, friends. There it is, we got it. Happy now. That is awesome. That's what I've been looking for. Well, that made this walk worth it. <laughs> I am so happy to come down here and finally find uh, a whole sand dollar. And I got it on video, so you know, there you go. We pulled it right out of the beautiful Atlantic. That's good times, I love it. So, uh, these people are still up here and uh i'm just i'm having fun i don't care they can take all the time they want i got all day so uh i got my sand dollar i'm happy and uh i just i'm glad i could share it with you so uh yeah fun times this is great loving it all right friends it's our turn so i'm gonna walk up the sand dune here and uh walk up to the mailbox and uh take our swing at it i can't wait to open the book up and uh check out what other people's wrote so here we are guys, this is the Kindred Spirit mailbox up here on top of the dune. And we just reach inside and you get all the magazines, I mean the little notebooks and stuff in there. Plenty of pens to write your thoughts and stuff. Um, I already know what I'm going to write. Uh, if you want to come down here and see what I write, it's going to be in this book right here. Good luck figuring it out because I'm not signing my name to it because it's kind of embarrassing. But it is a lot of fun. And uh, I enjoy doing this almost every year. Last year was the first time I've not come down here in like eight years. So that is that. All right, guys, I'm gonna take my turn at this. I'm gonna write a note to the Kendrick Spirit Box. I just finished writing in the journal up there. I got out of people's way because there was other people waiting to uh, to write. So uh, the people who got there, you know, before us, we had to wait for about 20 minutes, I guess, before they got finished up, before we could go up there and take our turn at it. Uh, so we was kind of in a queue. Who, who would have thought? Walked all the way down here and you still have to wait in a queue to walk up to the top of the sand dune to, uh, to write <laughs> write something in the, uh, the journal for the Kindred Spirit Box. But... Um, Oh well, all in all, it was a great day today. A lot of fun. 
and I guess this kind of concludes my video today. I have a long walk back, but uh, I have enjoyed every minute of this. It was so much fun to come out here, enjoy this beautiful day at Sunset Beach. And yeah, this was fun. I really enjoyed it. And I got to find a, a sand dollar, you know, in the water. I actually pulled it up and y'all got to witness it. I've been looking for one of those for years. I never get to see find like a whole one you know a whole piece i found many of them is broken and everything but to go out here today and actually find one in the water you know was uh pretty exciting man i really enjoyed that and i'm glad i got to share it with you so uh that's it that's my vlog for this week and uh next week who knows where i might go i'm not sure yet but uh this just made sense today it was just so pretty i had to get out and have some fun and enjoy myself a little bit as you see some bicyclers behind me uh that looks like a lot of fun too actually so uh, that concludes today's video once again. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed. You know, I try to make a video a week. And in the future, we might can push and get two videos out of it as I learn how to make better YouTube videos and get more comfortable with it because it is a little intimidating sitting here talking to a camera phone. And, uh, but it is what it is. It is fun and it really helps me cope, I think, with life everything we've been going on you know everything that's been going on in the last 18 months in this world has been very difficult and um this does help it really takes some weight off in a way that i can't explain and even if nobody sees the video it doesn't matter it's just going through this process helps me in some way just cope with everything and I'm not going to stop anytime soon because I mean it really is helping me a lot and bringing bringing some joy and this is like a new little hobby that I get to do and uh, I look forward to uh, sharing other videos here in the future as uh, I, t I take set and we go to Florida in a few weeks and uh, I'm really looking forward to that so uh, look at the difference in size friends these seagulls I mean look at him he's like a normal size gold right here this is what we have in Carolina Beach right and then look at this monster he is what a big difference like what does he eat <laughs> he's not finding you know I mean my god these things are like the size of ducks out here <laughs> I just think that's so hilarious so funny